Concert Crew Podcast, we back again. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Today, NORE 25. Absolutely. The 25th Noriega. anniversary Classic. of uh, Noriega, Noriega at the time, or, or AKA Nori's debut album. Yeah. Man, this album came out on uh, July 7th, 1998 mm-hmm. on, on Penalty Records. Man, we're going to get into this uh, this Nori album. We're going to talk about the songs. We're going to talk about the impact, his whole movement. We're going to get into all of that. But first off, fellas, um, do y'all remember when um when this album came out, what you was doing? Man. What was, was you doing in 98, Fritz? <laughs> nigga, I was in the trap. Mm. Real heavy. <laughs> Super heavy. <laughs> this was like this was like junior year. Like like junior year call. Probably for me. No, but it was the summer of our junior year. It was yeah, the summer, so we, summertime. We're about to go. We're about, about to be go seniors. Back. We had to be seniors. Yeah, about to be yeah, seniors. Yeah. yeah, like this was this was like man the like a um this was a a, a class a, like a bona fide neighborhood like everybody was playing this album like this joint was crazy man. This joint was real, real crazy, and it was, it was monumental, man. Yeah. Because nobody knew, like, because we already knew that Capone was hurt. You know what I'm saying? We knew that, you know, with in, in his situation. Locked you know up. what I'm saying? He was locked up, and coming off the CNN, and how we really, like, cause that, cause it was at one point, like, I was like, damn, like. Is he gonna wait the you know for Nor you know for, for Capone to come you know what I'm saying for you know what I'm saying, but he kept the momentum going man and he didn't let nobody down man this was yo man everybody tried to find that grenade man when he came with that chain on with that with, with the grenade man yeah everybody in the whole neighborhood tried to find that drink but I'm telling you man like this this album is special man for real for real this is one of them albums. And he introduced a lot of people on this album. Yeah. Yeah, this, I can, you know, it's some albums you remember what you was doing, and, and I, some albums I can remember exactly what I was doing. I can remember exactly what was going on when this album came out. First of all, on? first of all, he, Nori was so hot that it leaked early. This album, mm-hmm. the, the actual tape was bootlegged mm-hmm. early. And I remember this so clearly. Uh, it was Greek Fest weekend, and mm. me and my brother <laughs> Trap, we was going to Greek Fest um, in Philly, and he had the bootleg copy of this that came out a week early, and we pl- and and it wasn't just us; it was yeah. like <laughs> circulating heavy in the streets. That's how hot Nori was, man. This, uh, you know, for you young people, it, it was it used to be cassette mm-hmm. tapes at one point, and and you had you actually have bootleg cassette tapes of albums, and this this was so hot, it was kind of like an honor if you got bootleg because that means yeah. you was hot. <laughs> So this album was a week before it came out. The bootleg tape was out. Everybody was bumping it, riding the Greek fest, uh, 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 Greek fest with my brother Trap in Philly. We was playing this over and over, over and again, over bro. and over again. Oh, he was just at this point he had the streets, man. He and was you, just hot. You, you, you know, you, you know who else kind of dropped around this time, around the same time, around Greek fest time? Who? Nas. It was written. I'll never forget it. Mm. He dropped mm. around the Greek man. Oh, 96. Yeah. yeah. Whenever you dropped around that time, it was going to be a it moment. Was, it was going to be a, it was was a hot, moment with the banger. Because if you was hot, people was going to bump it. Right. Yeah. The summer album. Uh, me in 98, I was definitely heavy in my Wu-Tang bag, so I wasn't really up on Nori like that. Him, him or CNN is keeping it a, keeping mm, a 100. War, not the war report neither? Nah, I was deep in my Wu bag, man. Woo. I mean, obviously he had uh, Super Thug with the uh, Neptunes. With the, yeah, Neptunes, yeah. yeah. yeah that, like, that's when I was like, oh, all right, Nori. You know what I mean? Wow. Wow, that's interesting, man. Um, Nuri, well, we already talked about the 25th anniversary of the War Report. So the War Report already had me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so Yeah, it was already but, a wrap. But the Nuri, solo wise, he just he kept sold on it up. Being hot. He sold it up. He just everything at that point, everything he was on was just hot, man. Yeah. So yeah. so the solo album Fisheries. it was like the streets, the streets like asked for this. They he pretty yeah. much gave the streets what he wanted. Even, yeah. even if he wanted to chill and wait for Capone. It was almost like he couldn't because he was that much in demand. You got to like, strike while the iron's yeah, hot. Yeah. Exactly, so man. You can't just, you know, what I mean, just pass it up. I mean, like especially with hip hop, you yeah. got to be hot. Mm-hmm. Like, you got, you got to, got to, you got to get it out. You got to stay focused, man. Yeah. And then, like I said, man, like everything from this joint, man, like 
<laughs> yo, I'm telling you, man, from... Shh, this was... Th- yo, this album was special, man. Mm, yeah. I'm telling you, man, this album came at a time, man, where CB Dub, man, we was on a motherfucking hell of a run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, CB Dub was crazy around this time. All right, man. so the, the landscape of hip-hop in uh, uh, the summer, July of 1998... Uh, yeah, um, but at the time this album came out, what was what was hip? What was going on in hip hop? I think hip hop in '98 was up for grabs. Biggie died, Pac died. Yeah, East Coast, West Coast. It was like, yo, who's up next? Yeah. Well, actually, '98 is the year of DMX. Mm-hmm. DMX owned. Yeah, X, '98. X, X was a problem around this time. Yeah, X was a X, huge X was a huge problem. Yeah. Um, Hove was a problem too. Hove was definitely Hove. Hove Hove was an issue for real, for real. But Nor just fit right in. Yeah. He came yeah. right in, man, and knowing his history from CNN, you had to respect it. And I think a lot of rappers that was out around this time had to respect Nori yeah. around this time, man, because he came with he and he introduced some of the major players in the game right now. Yeah, it was just a, get that, it, it just get that out of, the way. It was a lot of options in '98, yeah. depending on depending on what your preference was. Yeah. I mean, Puff. Bad Boy Mace was running yeah. the radio. Uh, Puffy was running the radio. Mace was hot. They were they were they were selling units. Bad yeah. Boy was moving out there. Uh, Nas yeah. was that guy still. Uh, he was preparing for his next album at this point. Coming off like, uh, coming off the firm. I feel like Missy was big. Missy Missy was yeah. Missy was. Buster Rhymes was hot. Buster Rhymes was huge. Um, Freak said uh, Hov was hot. Yeah. The Locks was on fire. Yeah. Uh, DMX was just that he just yeah. came out just the golden era. This is the golden era time. Pun. Big pun. Yeah. Cameron. Yeah. This is the golden era time. A lot of people that was hot was on yeah. this album. Yeah. 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 Nature was hot. Yeah. Nature so, was hot. All right. So let's fast forward back to '98. Is Nori top five MCs in '98? At this time, yeah. To me, he was. He was top he was five. Top five. He was top I, five hottest. I don't know about MC like as like far as bars, of, far as bars, but, but he as, was top five far, hottest. As far yeah, as being definitely. hot. To me, yes. yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. yes, Nori was hot. Nori was on fire. But, like, not lyricist, but he was making the yes. hottest song. But it worked. Yeah, and it he worked. held his own. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. He but held then, his own. But I think New York was killing it all together. But it was other regions coming up, man. Yeah, 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 the yeah. South, um, you got Outkast. We don't never mention this, but Master P and No Limit was on what? fire at this point. They was on fire, and, and that this come out every week. And at the, mm-hmm. yes, they did. And Literally. at this, and at this point, Snoop joint no limit. Yeah. So no limit was making noise, whether you like all their music or not. They was on fire. Yeah, you got respect. Following that. them um, was Cash Money was right, right coming up. Yeah, and they yeah. about to drop a clat, a one of one of the biggest classics out of the day. Four hundred degrees. Design. Yeah, that was coming. Yeah. But Cash Money was on to come up. Freaks, you said the last time UGK was was, yeah. was starting. UGK to, yeah. was starting to bull, build their self up. Yeah, but not they. They was already hot. It was hot. It's they just that hot. you know, East Coast, East Coast was getting on to them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, West the West Side uh, West Coast man West Side Connection was really down. was really holding yeah. it was really holding <laughs> it down. Death Row kind of it was kind of yeah, over man, at that point, kinda... man. Snoop went down south. They ain't really had much, but West Side Connection. Yeah. They, they had younger dudes. Uh, Exhibit was starting to make a little no- noise. Yeah, he had a few. He had a yeah, few singles. Yeah, Warren G kind of fell off. Yeah. Of no, yeah. Warren G was hot, but he yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, he yeah. kind of tailed off a little bit at this point. It's really West Side Connection was kind of holding it down. Yeah, uh, Rascast, Rascast, the Licks, dope. they're tashing them. The Licks yeah. was doing I'm all this. I mean, I got, it was, they were like underground. The yeah, singles. Yeah, yeah. They had yeah, hot yeah. singles. Yeah, they definitely high they, singles. There was a lot of people that had some high singles that didn't. You know what I'm saying? But Nori just had a banger, and, and people and, and, respected and, and, it. And also in the Midwest, Bone Thugs and Harmony was moving major yeah, units, yeah, whether you yeah, like them or yeah, not. Yeah, 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 Bo- yeah. Bone Thugs and Harmony yeah. was moving units for the love of from like <laughs> from like '95 to the early 90s. 2000s. Bone Thugs and Harmony was yeah. killing it. Like they, whether you love them or not, they had their own lane. They was killing it. So. God, what about jump. your boys? You ain't gonna throw your boys in there? Yeah. Crucial conflict. You know you were there as your boys. Love, you know there's your boys. Throw them in there. 
the only Crucial Conflict that's the song that you know. song I could I damn. can name. If, if, you, if, you, if you said name two, I would lose money. Like, damn, man, I only know one. You, you be struggling for your life. Yeah. Name two, I, name I, two I, Crucial Conflict songs to lose your I life. I'm trying hard, yeah. man. I'm trying hard. Hey, remix. Hey, remix. Yeah. Hey, remix. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is crazy. Yeah. Um, oh, but where would y'all say Nori was at um, at this point in his career before this album came out? I think he's riding the wave of uh, the War Report. Um, I'm gonna put off that. I'm, I'm gonna put him on that, but I'm also gonna put him on like he was really putting his foot down too because he started being on little mixtapes and doing a lot of freestyles too, yeah. and, and, and jumping on people joints here and there. And that's how you knew this Nori was coming because he was always saying it. He's like, NRE coming, you know, I'm going to hold it down to Capone, come on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The single, the, the, the solo album coming, boom, boom. And he, yo, I'm telling you, man, like, and when this joint had dropped, shh, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, because he, um, well, it's funny because he really... The War Report album, if you remember, Capone was already locked up. Yeah. So, a like lot, a lot, so a lot of the songs were already <laughs> yeah. solo yeah. songs yeah. anyway. So he already had you from the War Report, which is a classic. He yep. already had you used to hearing yeah. him solo. And he was killing them like yeah. Blood Money, like Closer. Yeah. Like He well, already uh-huh. had classic solo joints. So then he at, the stuff he was dropping I, afterwards, like I agree, he was on a lot of clue tapes. Stuff. Yeah. He was killing it. But then he was on I'm Leaving from the Firm album with yeah. Nature. Yep. That was crazy. He was on Streets is Watching soundtrack. Um mm-hmm. he said, I'm like 98 Live. You like double dribble. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like yeah. like he, everything he was just everything he was dropping was just hot. It just mm-hmm. was catchy and it was working. He, so, a funny bar. so yeah, it was so he was like he he was hot, man. The belly soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah, the belly soundtrack. And Raekwon and Maya. Yeah. yeah. So he had two joints yeah. on there. Yeah, so he yeah. was doing a lot of features. He, feature. he was yeah. doing a lot of features, and it seemed like everything he get he was getting on was just on was just hot, man. Yeah. Nor no, so, I know. Sometimes. sometimes was a classic. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes from the belly soundtrack yeah. Yeah. is a classic. Yeah. Man, I love I that song. He on there twice, yeah. Sometimes yeah. I want to chill leg. Sometimes, sometimes I get drunk. Oh God! He was a go-to. Man. He was yeah, a go-to nah, artist that you go to. He was killing it. Nah, he really built. He built it up. But like I said before, the streets demanded this album. He couldn't just fall back off that momentum. Like you know, nah, you gotta push this, man. They want you, yeah, man. You yeah. gotta give them a solo album. You can link back up with Capone when he come home. But yeah. right now, we gotta ride this yeah. wave, man. You the so, guy anyway. Yeah, he he was on fire, man. And mm-hmm. and the war report was like. The preview, like the appetizer, and the, oh, okay, we're gonna give you a little yeah. portion of me solo. Now we all right, we're gonna eat a whole thing. Now, it, yeah, and he took it up a notch, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, how, how do you feel like the anticipation for this album was? Uh, it was, it was there. You know what I'm saying? We was waiting on it. You know what I'm saying? Especially coming off that last look. You feel me? We was waiting on it, but I'm just, you know, I didn't. I knew it was gonna be hot, but I didn't know it was gonna be the way it was. It, 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 it landed, man. See, uh, now to me, like this is why, like these these, uh, Damn, these solo boy, debut albums, classic. like like you don't know what to expect. Yeah, like like, like cannabis. Everybody thought his album was gonna be crazy, and it was just okay. I mean, it was yeah. good, but it's like yeah, he dropped the ball. Nah, it wasn't yeah. that good. Nah, it was not, not for the hype. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, 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 nah, yeah, yeah, not for the hype. But still, it's like you just don't know what to expect. So yeah, I, 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 and this preferably what seventeen. Besides a couple, it's a couple skits, couple yeah. interludes, you know what I'm saying? A couple skits, and he had the best skits. His yeah. skits was funny. But I will say about Nori is that it, it, I think this is more anticipated by the streets than commercially. Oh, definitely. I don't think I don't think commercially everybody's like, oh, we want this Nori. But the streets, if yeah. you was in, if yeah, because yeah. CNN is an underground album for yeah. the most he part. He went platinum in the streets first. Yeah. So the streets was looking for it. It yeah. was heavily anticipated yeah. in the streets. Cause, cause Capone, the War Report was an underground album. Where, yeah. You know, they were talking hard, but it was an underground album. So that whole, that whole lane, that whole market wanted this solo album yeah. bad. So yeah. the streets anticipated them, not yeah. commercially, but the streets, man. So we got, you know, Sean, man, you know the album title, 
it, which is really, it, re- it really is really that creative. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, Nori. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we learned it, he made it into an acronym, but it's still Niggas Nori, run, based yeah. off of Noriega. But what do you think about the album cover, man? Album it's, cover is just uh, no, you the art guy. Yeah, yeah, I mean he's just chilling on the cover. Just uh, ain't too much going ain't, ain't, on. Ain't too much going on. Yeah, honestly. it wasn't the most creative yeah, thing, it's not, right? Yeah, here. it's just pretty basic. But yeah, it ain't really no breakdown of yeah, this one. It ain't yeah, really, yeah, really yeah, rock or something. He's just, just sitting there. Yeah, he's just sitting there, man. <laughs> I can't even try to art this shit up. Nah. He's just sitting there chilling. <laughs> he's just chilling, man. I mean, I guess, man, he coming from the streets, man. It's yeah, super basic. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, let me sit down and give you a color. <laughs> yo, yo, I mean, like, 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 actually, this is a lot more calm than the last cover, uh, the war the report. War report yeah, had war. buildings on yeah, fire yeah, and stuff. They, and was, they was going to war, man. Yeah. They was going to war. This is more like, like I'm chilling. All right, well, so. let's get into it, man. Um, N O R E. All right, N O R E, um, which is the acronym let's for uh, Niggas on the Run Eating, mm-hmm. uh, was a debut studio album from, at this time, he was Nuri Ega, man. Um, it was released on uh, July 28th, uh, 1998. On uh, penalty records, mm-hmm. um, uh, recording sessions took place at Criteria Studios in Miami at the Hit Factory. He said uh, July twenty eighth. He said July seventh. I'm sorry, I, 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 that's my fault. That's yeah, July seventh, nineteen ninety eight. That's a I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, the recording sessions took place at Criteria Studios in Miami at the Hit Factory, um, at Electric Lady Studios, the Cutting Room, and Right Track Recording in New York. At uh, Bearsville Studios and at House of Hits uh, from uh, 1998, from 1997 to 1998, the recording for this album took place. Production was handled by the Trackmasters, mm-hmm. LEX, Dame Grease, DJ Clue, Duro, EZLP, Marley Ma, uh, Nashim Merrick, uh, SPK, Swiss Beats, The Neptunes, and more. Uh, NORE features guest appearances from Mussin, uh, Mussolini and Maze, Nature, Big Pun, uh, Buster Rhymes, Cameron, mm. Carl Thomas, mm. Chico DeBarge, Jadakiss, mm. Styles P, mm. uh, Kid Capri, Cool G Rap, mm. Nas, and Spliff Star. That's a hell of a lineup mm. for a debut album. Yeah. Spliff Star on this album. Yeah. Yeah. Spliff yeah. Star on this album. Yeah. Spliff Star been around for a minute, man. Yes, yeah. he has. Yes, he has. All right. Track number one The Jump mm. Off. It's, it's like an album. intro. It's, it's like the intro. It's N-O-R-E. like R-E. Yeah. the album. The album. It's here. Yeah. You know? It's like a mob movie kind of like yeah. style music. Um, he letting everybody know it's, it's, I'm here. Yeah. The solo album is here. And that goes right into track number two. Uh, Band from TV mm. featuring Nature, Big Pun, Cameron, Jadakiss, and, and Styles P. Uh, produced by uh, Swiss Beats. This is the second is this, single. Is this top five posse songs? Well, we talked about this. If you if you haven't heard, if you yeah. haven't checked out that um posse cuts. that hip hop posse cuts volume one, go check that video out on yeah. YouTube. We talked about this uh this song, but um this is definitely a classic. This lineup posse was cut. crazy if from I'm the mistaken, from the You ain't like this beat, did you? Uh, yeah, you nah, wasn't impressed I, by this beat. I still don't wow. like this beat. I still don't like this beat. Wow. I don't know why. I just don't. Wow. Now, now the bars are there, but that dun, 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 dun. I don't know. I, I disagree with you, Sean. I like man. this beat, man. Can't rock with it. Recall wow. it's a rain of snow, sleet of hell. hell. I, I kick, kick street tails, choking niggas like, like I'm free well. Go to yeah. state, holding your faith in, in the palm, palm of my hand. Go you away, away like it's part of the plan. I gotta call it like I, I see it. it. Talking like I'm be it. Walking my walk. Thugged out, go for beat Yo, I'm soon to be up. Give me room, watch me heat up. Niggas trying to stick me like I do the ream up. Follow the leader. Make, Make me go, go extra hard. hard. Nature Don't know kills you. Should I hold back or show the repertoire? With the Give six, 16 or spit an extra bar. bar. Just for the non-believers. non-believers. I show them why hard it's so hard to reach us. I get, I get pussy, pussy with, with my father's features. features. Puff, Puff heavily. heavily. See me at 6'1". Weigh, weigh a buck 70. Catch me in spots your <laughs> niggas never be. Packed like in. I'm Green Bay. Harlem with the Queens Day. Performer a cappella. No DJ. 98 Live. No replay. Make it seem easy. Just tell a friend, tell a friend that, that it's is them again. again. Nature, nature Noriega, Wild Gremlins. Yo, nature, nature kills destroys this, shit, this song. From the rip. I did, that's how you open it up. 
That's how you start an album. Nature <laughs> destroys this song, man. And I know we asked this before, but like, who do you think has the best verse on? I'm asked it before, but who do you think has the best verse? I think Nature has the best verse on this song. Oh, and man. Nature's probably the least, he, he's probably the newcomer of them, but I think yeah. Nature bodies this I song. I think Nature and Pun had the best verse. Yeah, right. Nature and Pun was messy yeah. though, man, but. And nigga in two worlds, you know, thorough than this. Bust off. Bust off. Yeah, like, the hot like, barrel like, dead on your lips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like two thirds of a brick. Panero yeah, and Kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Criffy, he said the Criffy fluffy white parts that yeah, come I'm back like, with. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Stop it, man. That's uh, the beat so strong. They had to put it in glass, glass jaws. Niggas yeah. trying to smoke me out and moke me out. The rims on my My boy said champagne on the rocks. <laughs> on the Pork chops and apple sauce. Come on, man. <laughs> Find guilty. Find guilty. <laughs> And, and, and Nori may not be have the best verse, but I feel like he bought that energy. What? What? Yeah, what, right. what? 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 I think Cam Chops and He did. He do say he that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Nah, but was, this song was class. This is a classic pop. I ain't that. playing them truly words to be the first to get his whole body <laughs> fully reversed. Losing your hurts leave you double dead. I'm, I'm a, a bubble, bubble head. head. I, I never, never listened, listened to nothing my, my mother said. Go on, whole niggas ransom for money like Johnny Hanson. So, he said, I've been sunning niggas for so long. I, I think, think I, I got, got a grandson. grandson. <laughs> he said, that's flash from the honey. So, with that, he said, yeah. would that a blast anybody? That's my kind of girl. Yeah. Not the world you want to live in, not a cell or a prison or a hell. Oh, man. Yeah, 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 nah, that nah, was nah. crazy. Classic song. Classic. Classic, classic, classic song. Classic. Posse cut. Classic song. That goes into track number two. We slows it up a little bit with uh, "I Love My Life" mm. featuring Carl Thomas, produced by Easy LP. I love. Is this beat. the introduction to Carl Thomas? No, it, it might wasn't, be. It wasn't because, um, but remember, Carl, Carl Thomas on "Life After Death" and he was on. No oh, Way okay, Out. okay, but okay. But this is okay. the first kind of feature he did outside of outside Bad of Bad Boy. Um, yeah, but, yeah, but that's what it was. He, his, his solo album hasn't came out yet, so these are big. Yeah, features. yeah, 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 yeah. You got Biggie. You, Biggie was the first album yeah. he was actually on. Then he got Light. Then he got a uh, No Way Out. Nori. This is a big feature, and I yeah. like this song, man. Yeah. I like this song. Yeah, he's talking about like his come up on this song. Yeah. Like it's like a coming to age story almost. I love my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So trust my Easy LP. Always dope, man. Always makes dope beats. I like this song, man. It slows it up, but I like this song. Mm -hmm. And Carl Thomas did exactly what he was supposed to do, man. He kills this joint. That goes right into track number four, um, N-O-R-E, produced by Polk and Tone. Uh, it's the first single. Doom, doom, doom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Get like a gun head. trilogy, gas strategy. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, his style is so un, like so yeah. unorthodox that it works. Have them so straight wilding when they see my car. <laughs> mm. Yo, this this song was hard to me. Yeah, it was the yeah. beats and the rhyme. Dun, 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 yeah. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom. Yeah, this doom. Hard. Like, Step on your toes, fucking your hoes. <laughs> Chain reaction. Keep stepping down from a fucking neck to my toes. Yo, this is the first time I heard the acronym. Uh, like, I knew yeah, they yeah, called yeah. him Nori before, yeah, Nori. but but they niggas on the run eating. That's all that was an acronym. Getting you head in the whip and not crashing it. it. That was <laughs> yeah. doggy style with first my favorite position. Santiago. Man, this was a single, but this was like a, a song for the hip hop heads to mm -hmm. me. Definitely. Even though it was definitely. a single. This was mm -hmm. this was dope, man. I like this he song. Yeah, a video for this too. Yeah, it definitely yeah. had a video for it. Yeah, a lot of, lot of, yeah, a lot of people yeah. was featured. I remember Core Mega was in this video. He had a, he had features. I don't in it. remember the video, but I, it was a video yeah, for this, and yeah, it was a it was, prison. Yeah. But he had other rappers in the oh, video okay, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah I now, if I'm not, yeah, I think Cormega was in a couple other mm. people, but it was it was dope. Uh, that leads to track number five, uh, "Hid Interlude." Uh, it's the interlude. <laughs> yeah. It's the, the person in this. In this, I don't know if y'all knew the person talking is Jungle, uh, Nas's brother. Jungle, oh, and, yeah, 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 Jungle, yeah, yeah. And Jungle's on several interludes on yeah. here, but Jungle and and, and Nori was real cool yeah. at this point. Um. And uh, and and it's, it's interlude about a girl yeah. giving head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. Jungle is the guy. Right. Yeah, Jungle's, Jungle's the, the one that's talking. Yeah, talking. Man. Yeah, Jungle's always on on skits. Yeah, yeah. on other stuff too. Yeah, but um, this is funny, man. That leads in funny. The, that leads into track number six. Um, Give me it's, some head. It's head Give me some featuring head. Uh, nature. nature killed this. Yeah, produced yeah. by um Polk and Tone. But also he took the he took a 
the part from the the NORE song and made it the hook on yeah, this song. Yeah, that was dope. Doggy style was my favorite position yeah. until so I, I switched it. it. That shit. shit got, got on some head, head shit. Give me some head. Yeah. But yeah, man. But um, I like this beat. Me yeah, too. Like this, this beat is dope. I like beat this is beat, dope. man. Yeah. Um, the lyrics is alright, but I, I like I like the beat though. This beat alright. Give me some head. Give me some head. Poker tone. I, I, I like the poker tone. Kind of was commercial, but a lot of the song beats they gave him on here was a little more, I don't know, grimier for their style. Their style yeah. was real, mm-hmm. was real flossy to me, like the R. Kelly type song. Those are kind of songs I. So some of these, like, like, I think like track masters is more commercial than Polk and Tone is track master. That's the same, yeah, yeah, the same yeah, people, yeah. yeah. But NORE does not sound like a track master type song. Nah, not at all. Yeah, everything that you can beat is rich. Yeah, uh, stop. <laughs> he was excited uh, about that shit too. Yo, <laughs> yo, he made a lot. Of, they made a lot of cows and they made a lot of hits. Yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. Not. yeah. But poke and tone. I'm, I'm sorry. They they're listed as poke and tone, but it's, they're the track. They're the yeah. track masters. They're the track masters, pretty much. Um, uh, and that goes into track number seven. It's not a game featuring Maze and Mussolini, produced by SPK. This joint was hard too. I like this joint. I don't know, man. You this, like this? This joint was a little light to me, man. Mm, which it's, one? Uh, uh, track number seven, man. No, I think it's man. a little album fillerish. This is my me. joint, man. Really? <laughs> yeah, this is my joint, man. It's this is my joint. A little album fillerish. Yeah, it's to my me. joint. It's not a game, nigga. We move in and move <laughs> out. Joint <laughs> niggas. They try to um, come on, man. It, this was my on, favorite. Man. This was my favorite. This was one of my joints right here, yeah, man. Right. And then Maze Mussolini. He, 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 he let them get their shine. He definitely yeah. let them get their shine. Yeah. They was artists on the cover. This wasn't my favorite, though, but he definitely get, let them get their shine. I pledge allegiance to money, hoes, and jewels, and big guns. Mm. Come on, man. <laughs> this is my joint. My favorite, man. Uh, track number eight is Fiesta, uh, featuring Kid Capri, produced by the track now, this was now, 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 this, this was a filler to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, now. It was a party joint, to, though. To put it in context, Kid Capri was the biggest celebrity DJ. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. For a while, especially during this time. But then during this time, he not only was the biggest like celebrity DJ, but he also started being on a lot of people's albums yeah. producing. Yeah, like, album he, too. Yeah, he had an album, yeah. but he also was producing. He was on J album. Yeah. He was on a lot of people's albums. So this is like his party joint. This definitely wasn't my favorite yeah, song. Not at all. I see the purpose for it, and I, and I know where Kid Capri was at that point, so I, I get it, but it wasn't my favorite. Now, does this song fit the album? No. Yeah, that's what but I But I, I get why they did it, though, but it wasn't my Every favorite. Time. It wasn't nah. my favorite. It wasn't Mm-mm. my favorite. Uh, track number nine. Uh, this was my joint. 40 Island featuring uh, Cool G Rap and Mussolini, produced by Marley Ma. This now, was my joint. Now, this comes this from the original hard. Rikers Island yeah. song, so this is pretty much a remake of right. uh, a Cool G Rap song, but it's dope because he had Cool G Rap. On the song again, I thought that was kind of dope. Yeah. And Cool G Rap kills it too, man. Absolutely, he kills this, man. Cool G Rap's version was better just because he's lyrically more of a problem. But paying a legend to you know Queens artists. But it, I, I, that's why yeah. I said all oh, that's dope. And Cool G Rap bought it, like yeah. he showed that he still mm-hmm. got it with yeah. his verse. But uh, this definitely was like a, a remake, and, and so I was it, was. it was cool. It was cool, man. Um, Tracking in it. Rikers Alley. Iraq, Iraq. Iraq Allen. The beat was still dope, yeah. man. Uh, track number Listen 10. To me. You track- don't thug. This is Summer's Advice. Uh, <laughs> That's my joint. Uh, uh, track number 10 is The Way We Live featuring Chico DeBarge produced by L.E.S. I understand that Chico DeBarge, Chico DeBarge, he was on a little run. Chico DeBarge was hot. Yeah, was, uh, but I wasn't feeling this, this wasn't one. it, man. Uh-huh. 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 I had to disagree with y'all. Damn. <laughs> I actually so like this song. People. That's who we are. are. Stop it, Carl. Yeah. No, actually, like, nah, Chico the Barge was hot at this time. And yeah, I actually, he was. And I know this is a song for the ladies, but I actually like this song, man. Now, I, this I, song don't fit the album at all. I'll take this song over uh, over Kid Capri song, man. Uh, I, yeah. I'll take this song over, over Kid Capri song. I think to me, they like kind of like neck and neck. Damn. Yeah. Uh, track number 11, Animal Thug Interlude. This skit was hilarious. Yeah, this man. one was crazy. This is this is jungle talking to they in the store with the I don't know if he A Rab or Indian. I don't know which yeah, one he is. This my joint, like, man. This is this, it's it's my joint, funny, man. man. This one of my um 
you know what I'm saying? One of my favorite like interludes, man, on this joint, man. <laughs> this is a funny interlude, man. Yeah. This is a funny interlude. This is definitely funny, funny, man. Animal thought. <laughs> said, Animal thought. He said, Nori, good people. Yeah, good, people. Good. good people. Good people. Good people. Good people. Uh, track he said, somebody kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's a funny... He said, chill. <laughs> no, chill, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> chill, Animal Cup. <laughs> this is a funny interlude for sure, man. Uh, track number 12, The Change, produced by Kirk Gowdy. Now, this to me is one of the sleeper songs well, yeah, on this I album. agree, because he, is... he in his story bag yeah. on this, man. I like the beat. My life is like a movie. Like, the bad guy lose, I, good guy win. Read nigga for ten. Yeah, I like this beat in rhymes on Philly. Here. Yeah, this, yeah. Beat this is crazy. This is slept like this on one. song. Yeah. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun, that beat dun, nice. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, this is a sleeper song yeah. on this album. This joint go. This joint go. This joint probably probably because like the last song wasn't that good at all. So for him to get back in that. I disagree. Boom back. I, dis yeah. I like the way we live, but <laughs> it definitely changed. It definitely changed. I yeah. like this way we live. I, Chico, yeah. I was rocking with Chico at the bars at this time. I know. Yeah, yeah. we know. Chico, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was your guy. Chico at the bars was hot. Yeah, Chico bar the bars was on a couple joints he was, though. Yeah, he was. He was, a, he was, he was on a couple he was joints. It. But I like this song. This song, and even after I ain't heard it in a while and hearing it, I already know. I was like, yo, yeah. this is a sleeper joint, yeah. man. This is this song was hard, man. Mm -hmm. Word. Well, for me, this 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 uh this song kicks off like a next good pocket of songs for the mm. second half of the album. Mm. Uh, you don't think so? Uh, something like that because we moving on. <laughs> uh, you want to say something before we move on? Uh, I'm just saying we moving on to the next track. I'm going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna state my point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know. Uh, all right. Well, but you know, you, well, we are. Uh, all right. Well, let's mm. let's move on to the next track. Yeah. Track number 13, we got Super Thug featuring Tammy Lucas, produced by the Neptunes. This is the third single. Tammy Lucas, ain't that Khalees? I don't know what her real name is. Oh. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> That's Khalees. Yeah. Besides the Khalees. popularity yeah. of this yeah. song, yeah. besides the popularity of this song and it being, you know, like the catchy beat and all that, this song was just all right to me. It just made the song, man. It just made the album. And, but. It was the beat, but I thought that his lyrics wasn't like that on here, man. I didn't really. I'm 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 caught up in the the, the wave of it, you know, like the time that it dropped, and you know, during that time, and the what, 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 what. But this song wasn't it for me, man. Well, like I, right now I skipped the song when really? I listen to this album. Well, yeah. I I'll say this is a classic song. First of definitely, all, definitely, definitely. Um, the song it put, is the song put the Neptunes and their sound on the map. Yeah, he put absolutely. them on the map with this. Song. Absolutely. I will say this song got played out to where it was getting on my nerves. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I was sick of hearing this. And song. I think that's video, what it is. The video made it. Like yeah, 10 that, times the video worse. was everywhere. Yeah. I, I, what I do find interesting is that um, he said that. Him saying what, 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 what was his way of counting his bars. Oh, shit. That, and, and, and they said keep it. So it, the what, the numbers of what yeah. was, was the bars before he started rapping. Oh, so that shit. was his way. So so they was like, yo, just keep that. That's dope. So he was like, what, 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 what? All right, it's time to rap. <laughs> like that was his way. That was his, him Man. saying that was counting his bars. So that's a little known fact about this song. That's where the what, what, what came Man. from. But that's crazy because that became the biggest yeah, part yeah, of the yeah, song yeah. that everybody remembers. But that's that he was counting his bars. That's where that came from. Uh, but classic song. I definitely agree. It's one of them '90s playlist mm -hmm. hip hop yeah. songs you play. But I definitely say this song was played so much it started to get on my Heavy. nerves after a while. Like, yeah. word it did. But it's a classic. I can't take nothing from it. And the whole Neptune's run they went on, mm -hmm. they have to thank Nori. Nori, Nori started that. Yeah, this was the launch. And then, and then and then not just this song, him and the Neptunes had a hell of a run. Yeah. Even if Nori album wasn't like that, he kept a Neptune single on deck. Mm -hmm. yeah, like all definitely. times. That Absolutely. was fire. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh Definitely, it, it definitely. This is a classic song. I can't, For real, yeah. I can't, and I think I guess Tammy Lucas is Khalees, but I guess she wasn't. Tammy Lucas is not Khalees. It's not Khalees. Nah, it's it's some some other girl. Oh, okay. I'm about to say because maybe she just ain't was using. The but government. I thought it was Khalees though in the background saying that. But uh, maybe she was doing ad libs too. I don't know. But maybe Tammy Lucas is is, is credited with the yeah. feature though. 
Uh, that goes into track number 14, The Story, featuring Maze, produced by LEX. This is the storytelling joint. Gotta have one. This is my joint. Man. This joint go hard. This is like my this. joint right here. This joint go hard, man. Uh, it's like ten of y'all on one blunt. <laughs> yeah. He get him back at this nigga z- just shot at Ram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he get him back. He get him back at somebody that shot at his man. Yeah. He was going for revenge. He killed this guy named Ricky that ended up being a rat and took work. Uh, and then he took his work. But his brother came back looking for them. Yeah, they went on a highway chase, a like shootout. A, a heist type. I, I will say this is a storytelling song, but it's not That's the clearest it. story. Like you got <laughs> no, it, it's, it, it's very choppy. <laughs> it's not a biggie story nah, where he of, just uh, lays it all out to you. You gotta go listen and, and like, like listen oh, hard. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah you that makes put, sense now. You gotta yeah. put it together. It's it's not the easiest thing to follow as far as a story, uh, but it was all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> but then Nas is talking at the end of this song. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's Nas talking Strong at the end. Strong arm. Put the fire on long, long pong. When the beef come, nigga, nigga strong arm. Yeah, I like this beat on this song, too. It's like a slower beat, but I, I yeah. like it. Uh, but that, but I, I like this song. Said I wish my nigga was home. The Black Funds. <laughs> 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 and that leads to track number 15, Mathematics Esta Loca produced by DJ Clue. This was that bounce. That was yeah. that bounce. I like this joint too. Dun, dun, yeah. dun, 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 I like this song. Dun, 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 yeah, it's going on, dun, 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 dun. Esta Loca, Loca. <laughs> <laughs> now, this beat was different, but I like it, man. This was like. Yeah, yeah. And Nori yeah, had a bounce. And Nori was running this. Yeah, he was. On some other shit, nice and slow, like some other shit. <laughs> he mm-hmm, was like, mm-hmm. Now, Lori was running this song. This beat, doom, 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 he said, I'm half Porter Rock. <laughs> he yeah. said, My mom's black, most people call me a mutt. Yeah. <laughs> they always said my first words, What's what? what, what? <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, this beat, I like this beat a lot. Uh, check number 16, the assignment featuring Lori Yeager, <laughs> Buster <Rhymes. laughs> Yeah, Lori Yeager. Featuring Spliff, uh, Buster Ryan, Spliff Star, and Maze, produced by Nasheen Merrick and Jay Wax Garfield. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. This beat tough. That beat yeah, is beat messy. Tough. What would you say? And, and Buster Ryan yeah, goes yeah. in on this yes, song, Yes, he did. Buster Ryan goes in. He, make, he said, I make the nut of butter. Thick, smooth, sit from the gutter. gutter. <laughs> 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 oh, that's what he said. <laughs> 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 Yo, he was going in, man. Yo, yeah, crazy. yo, this nigga call is crazy. <laughs> That's what he said. He was going in, but Buster Ryan was going in. Yeah. I like this song. This beat, because Spliff Star got a feature. That's a good look for him, man. Mm-hmm. And they know they know me know Spliff Star is the hype man, but he yeah. got a verse on it. Yeah. But this song is dope, but then this leads to track number 17. Oof. Body in the Trunk Oof. featuring Nas, produced by Dame Grease. Classic, classic track, yeah. dog. Classic. Yeah, classic track, man. Yeah, they should have released a video classic for this song. Track. Yeah. Yeah. The more, yo, this week, cat rocking the fade fake. on my face. Ask the Kenny C to like get made. I would have let him see it. The way he came across, no, no I, I said, said nah, beat, beat it. it. Steph told me buck him. him. When I, I reacted, Rell said, said chill, fuck him. Yo, yo, small, small world, we all gonna see him again. He said, fuck you. I said, what? Repeat it again? Chill, son, you weed it again. So now I'm going to speed again. again. Face looking like, like you feeding for him. him. Who that with you? How the gat? Nigga, come in. You, you got, got a pistol? That I must mean swinging, swinging again. And hey, yo, I fucked yo, I bucked the son because he was on some stupid shit. shit. Thinking he the real thing when he was just a duplicate. Saying that he hate our click, hate our shit, hate the firm album and seeing it click. He said he hates you and wish you ain't had the six. We had Coliseum jewelry, no tea, no tricks. That's what he posted again. Nigga, play you close again. Lay in the dirt. Something is said, you get hurt. Fuck yeah. around, though. Probably on some old school shit. Come on, man. I hit him up, God. Is he ghosting? Yeah, he buy you in the truck, so hey. what's it going to be? I Come on, man. man. Yeah, Me and 400 used to sing this song yeah. all day long, yo, man. Yo, Dame Grease killed this beat, The greens beat, of the yeah. arm with the blood on my sleeve. Yeah, the good uh, 98. Dame yeah, Grease. yeah, with the DMX. Yeah, this beat yeah, is this crazy. crazy. But Nas and Nori going back and forth is killing this yeah. story. Yeah. This is a f- this classic. This yeah, is a fire absolutely. right here, man. That joint fire, man. Uh, they should have had a video for this. If they that had a absolutely. video for this what? song, yo, because you could, it was like vivid. Yeah. You could see everything they were saying. 
I even heard Nori say like he wished they, they he, he said he would even go back and do a video for this now. Wow. Like he yeah. said he, he said he, he this is this song. Nas crazy. killed this shit yeah, right he here did. though, yes, though. He did. You wasn't dead then, but you're here now, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is classic vintage Nas right Damn. here, man. He said for some reason, yo, I couldn't sleep, stuck in my heat. Yeah. <laughs> He said, pop the trunk. Who's the kid? <laughs> you're, son, I think you're losing it. Yeah. He said, you really had to stuff him. You couldn't just stuff him. Yo, he had to lose his wig. Fuck yeah. you, bring him in for. What, what the fuck I, I can, can do? do? Somebody should have followed you. Fuck a nigga, I'll, I'll ride, ride with you. Because real niggas going <laughs> to do what, what they, they got to do. do. Slide this whip. And we y'all emptied the clip in his mouth. Fuck it. Mm. Yo, classic, yeah. classic, 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 classic. Made sure he was dead. Yes, 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 yes. He loaded the clip in his mouth. Fuck it. <laughs> this is a classic, man. Oh, man. Track number 18 is One Love. This is the interlude with Nori talking yeah, to Capone, talking to Capone yeah. on the phone from jail. Capone kind of motivating him. Um, like, you know, the solo album telling him that he holding it down. Keep mm-hmm. going. And which was also super dope for Nori is that Nori made Capone the executive producer, producer of, of the album. album. That's dope. Yeah. So, so Capone got paid, but he didn't have to do that. Yeah. But that shows the love that he had for his brother, man. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to hold him down. That's love that he so, put on out. Like, you know, actually, mm-hmm. actually put him on the album, yeah, like talking yeah. to himself. So, so that was Capone dope and his family get paid for this album for yeah. life. That's dope. That's that's dope. Yeah, that's that's real. That's real. That's yeah, real but nice. then he put him on here with the with with Capone giving him a message and Capone kind of hyping him up, man, telling him, yeah, like, let him man. know, like, yo, you it? Yeah, yeah. You did it. Man. I'm on my way. Go ahead, you're holding, man. You're holding you're them down, you're right holding us down you, right now. It's man. like you you living for me right now. Niggas is loving me in here, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. my man's is out there killing it. And then and then track number nineteen is a quick outro with the same beat from the intro. Yeah. Um. And he he's saying like he's saying he put, the album's he done. It's all. He, I, yeah, put, I yeah. gave I gave all I gave my all in this album. I couldn't mm-hmm. do no more, man. So N O R E it debuted at number three on the Billboard two hundred charts, and it eventually became certified platinum in sales. Um, That's dope. It uh so and it and it got it it got uh pretty good reviews from from most of the outlets. So what would y'all say the impact of N-O-R-E upon this release was? Mm. You can just put a stamp on Nori's name as an artist by him, like a solo Absol- artist. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. This, uh, this was the, the album that let you know that Nori, Nori going to be around for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Even though it got crazy a little late. But you know what I'm saying? But he, he had some shit and he kept coming and he, he kept shit right. You know what I'm saying? And he at least kept shit afloat until his man got home. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because when his man got home, they dropped that reunion. It was it was good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Everything was good. I like that reunion. Yeah, I, absolutely. I, I like that. I, I messed with that reunion a lot. But, uh, yo, it let you know if you thought Nori was a fluke, he let him know, like, nah, this ain't no fluke. Yeah. If y'all think I can't do it without Capone, I can. I don't know why they would question that based off the war report, how that sounded. But mm-hmm. he pretty much proved to everybody, like, look, I'm hot. And yeah. I can I can give you a whole album of me too and still be hot. So I think mm-hmm. any little naysayers that he might have had, I think he proved that if he's wrong, uh, he proved them wrong. And and this is uh, impact. It may not have been a a super commercial impact. Now Super Thug did bring Super him Thug to, took him over, yeah, the, over Super, the top. Super Thug brought him to the masses, but streetwise, yeah. Yeah. this album was heavy impact. Yeah. Yeah. It had it had a somewhat of an impact commercially with Super Thug, but streetwise, the impact yeah. of this album was heavy. Yeah, man. it was crazy. It was heavy in it the was street. crazy. This was everybody was bumping in yeah. R.E. album. I agree. Everybody was bumping in R.E. I agree. album. This joint was all throughout the neighborhood. Ev- absolutely, this album was heavy. In the streets. So, how would y'all describe the sound uh, of N O R E the album of this album? It was different, man. As far as from what we was used to hearing from Queens mm. at the time, and he became a little he 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 was sliding commercial in. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's hard to get that from Queens like that. Yeah. wasn't too many people giving you commercial hits like what 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 and you know what I'm saying them joints like that. And he was sliding them in at you, you know what I'm saying? But it was and still hip hop too. It was it still like, hip hop, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then he was that, he still was that fresh face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, like coming off that CNN and like he, him getting that hood respect, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Cause niggas was, niggas was out in the trenches, like listening to CNN yeah. and, 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 yeah. and Nori, man. Like that, man, we was out in the cold listening to that. Yeah. For real, playing on the car speaker, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Keeping niggas in that, 
keeping niggas in that grind mode and that hunger. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then he really gave motherfuckers names that had capuses and that was on the run. Mm. Yeah. Be like, man, where you at, man? I'm on the run eating right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That became a a, a a whole worldwide thing, I want to yeah, say. That's an impact right You know there. what I'm saying? That's a hell of an impact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was that was crazy, man. Like, yeah. Nori, Nori that dude, I, man. I think sound-wise, he built off of, um, uh, like I said, the War Report was underground. He, he kind of took that format and kind of expanded his sound a little more. The Neptunes, Peter wasn't really rocking yeah. with them like that. So he that started took, them out. That took him commercial. He was still... And, and the war report wasn't venturing in the party joints like that, mm -hmm. or or the, uh, the club joints. He was adventuring. He was taking the core of the, of the uh, war report, but then expanding yeah. it. Like I'm gonna reach more people, right? Because he, he knew he was catchy. He said catchy stuff, so it made sense that he started. You know, it was it was the hood, but I'm a, I'm gonna branch off a little yeah. bit for the ladies, mm -hmm. a little bit for the party, a little bit for the club. You know what I'm saying? But you know, cause cause he just had that in him. He had yeah. that ability. Mm -hmm. So it kind of started him kind of expanding his yeah, sound, yeah. his reach. And then, like, one of the things that I always liked about Nori, though, man, it was, like, he knew things that was working, and he wasn't going away from it. You know wow. what I'm saying? Because these interludes are just a reflection of CNN interludes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then the next album after this, the interludes was there as well. Like, mm -hmm. he tried to keep it, keep it in tune. But I liked, like, his artists and guys that he believed in, he put him on quality songs. Yeah. Like somebody we just mentioned, Conway earlier. Mm -hmm. Conway got him on quality songs. And I, I feel as though Maze and Mussolini, man, they was on quality songs that had them looking, you know what I'm saying, sounding yeah, good. Really good. Dug you know what I'm saying? Dug down entertainment. You yeah. feel me? Now, now for me, like this this may be crazy the more I think about it. Like it sounds like 1998. Like, it sounds like mm -hmm. hip hop, a little yeah. commercial, but yeah. still raw, that raw sound. Like when the I core, hear this, the core, the core there, of it, yeah. yeah. So it's like, like, this album, the Belly soundtrack, yeah. uh, the Pun album. Yeah, DMX, all them joints like, start like, coming like, back yeah, to exactly. back. All them joints yeah. was coming. So it sounds like real 98 cohesive. It's that real hip hop. Yeah. I agree. Uh, uh, so um, what did NORE do for uh, for Nori, Noriega as a solo artist? I think it put him out there. Like, it, I mean, just like more people got to see his, like, hear his, uh, his slang, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like his whole style, so. I mean, this album just put him out there to the masses, especially with that super thug. Yeah, I think this album made him, like, it stamped him. Like, he's mm, not, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. was questioning whether he was a real solo artist or not, it stamped him. Like, yes, I'm a solo artist. I can make hit records. He delivered. I can I can get the job done as a solo I can artist. street bangers. Don't, don't get it that. twisted. I'm repping Capone Noriega with my brother, but I can get it done yeah. as a... This ain't like a filler album. I can get it done as a solo right. artist. And I think mm -hmm. he proved that for sure. I think he proved it for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, is uh, is this... Uh, get this out the way. Is NORE... A, you consider mm -hmm. NORE a classic? Can we take that question up when we start doing 25s <laughs> or shit? Because hey. we wouldn't be doing 25s if these motherfuckers ain't classic. Hey, man. I, hey, some people disagree. Yeah, Sean disagree. Sean don't think it's a classic. Sean. What, this? No, yeah. it's a classic. It's good. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, there's only two songs I don't like. The one with uh, Kid Capri and uh, Chico. Da, da, all right. yeah. <laughs> this song's a classic. I mean, I mean, this album is, gonna do? This album, right. this album is a classic. Ooh, 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 baby. <laughs> You got all the ad-libs, but somebody don't like the song. You know that motherfucker used to come on. Suck the people. That's who we are. Look, my boy. I rock with that. I don't care what y'all talking about. But favorite song on N-O-R-E? You got to pick one? See if you only had one. It's kind of tough. Damn, man. Yeah, it is, man. But I got it like... Damn, I don't know, man. I'm, I got to draw. It's crazy because I got to draw. It's crazy because Band for TV and and um and definitely Body in the Trunk. I agree with you. It's crazy because both the, both the songs I like are feature songs, mm. but Band from TV and Body, Body in, in the, the Trunk, trunk man. man, I think is between them. That's two, a draw, man. man. Neck neck. I'm gonna go with uh the change. I like that joint. Cool, the change is yeah. dope. Change is change. Dope. That's my sleeper song yeah. on the album I like that for joint. sure. Uh man, um, where does this album rank at in Nori's discography? Wow, yeah, it's gotta be number one. 
And Nori dis- discography, yeah. not Capone not, not and Nori. Capone and Nori yeah. Yeah. It's Nori number one. Solo. Yeah. It's easy. Ab- absolutely. It's easy. Not not Capone and Nori. Yeah, this is easy. I think Nori's albums go in the, in the exact in order, the exact they order that they in. It got worse. Yeah. Worse. It got from hot to. <laughs> it Mel- got cold quick. Melvin Flint was okay. After Melvin Flint, it was yeah. over. Melvin Flint was okay. After Melvin Flint, that it, was dead. It <laughs> took a motherfucking deep motherfucking Hershey Park ride. Did. Yeah, we called a ready. <laughs> Yeah, I'm yeah. just being real. Damn, Nobody that's... know that. Yeah, it, 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 I, it, I believe the exact order they came out. Damn. That's mm. how. That's how I like this album. What do you think happened to him? Um, I think he was just. I, don't... I think he turned into a businessman. Yeah, I'm he not... became more business, and then yeah. he was. It was a lot going on, you know. He was, but hold on, man. Nori had a Nori got a lot. Of... Lot of splattered out singles no, and shit. Nori got, yeah. Nori got that great violator. He was on that violator joint too, wasn't he? Nori, Joel Hennon Styles. Yeah, that's a hit. Yeah, yeah. No, Nori, no, Nori has great. So Nori, yeah, Nori yeah. definitely can do shows forever. Nori, yeah, Nori, yeah. If, Nori. He, if he didn't have a podcast, he could do shows forever. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh no, uh, grimy. Um, he got joint. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got grimy. grimy. Yeah. All them, that, man, yeah. them, that's, All what, I, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Super Thug wasn't the end. He nah. went on a hell of a run. Yeah, he went on a hell of a run, man. man. The Neptunes and Nori got, they got about five, six singles. That and he always had a little bit of humor in his videos. That's what I like about Nori. Yeah. What's that Johnny says? Uh, something with a hammer. I make hits. What song, what song is that? Yeah. yeah. It's a Neptune uh, Yeah, song? it's a Neptune joint. Like, da, 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 hey, boy, da, da, da. I came to party. Yeah. Yeah. Your He's girl is looking at me. me. Yeah, that's another yeah, one. Yeah, that's one. Capone was home around this time too. He got joints, man. Yeah, he um, do. I, 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 but it's easily N O R E. Yeah. And then second is Melvin Fent. Uh, but that's second is not. It's down a little bit. He um, was going through some stuff with that album. Yeah, His but dad then, had died. Yeah, he got some joints on Melvin Flint though. But then after that, he he kept the singles on all his joints. Yeah. yeah. But the albums wasn't that good, man. Yeah. Albums wasn't that good. I right, freaks. Um. As in any albums that came out in the last 25 <laughs> years that remind you of N-O-R-E. Mm-hmm. You got to think, uh, what rappers came out as a group This one the first is, solo album? This one is actually super easy for me. Mm. I, ain't, I don't really say that about too many um, albums. This one is super easy. But the, the thing about it is, is the person took their his formula, they actually... Early in their careers, they were they used to record together and do a lot of stuff with the track master together. But the person actually said this took took his formula and took it to a higher, way bigger, higher level. He took his street formula, but I'm gonna make I'm gonna have commercial sets. He took the formula. He may not be known. Gotta be fifty. That's what I was thinking. Gotta be fifty. Yeah. Get rich or die trying. To me, fifty took his blueprint to a whole nother level. Mm. This is the Nori blueprint. You, what what do people say about Fifty? They say he may not be the best lyricist, but he knows how to make good songs, good songs. Yeah. and good hooks. But the only and thing that's hooks. missing though on that on that Fifty album or whatever one you may be comparing it to, get rich or die trying. Yeah, Nori Nori had them interludes, man. That that broke it up, man. That made you laugh. That made yeah. you like. I don't. I didn't listen to interludes, but it was just them interludes, man. That was. The Animal Cub joint, man. That <laughs> joint was funny as shit, man, back in the day, but you man. You take the interludes out. Yeah. Get Rich or Die Trying is a yeah, it's way about, better it's album on. Than, his, than his album. But I but I wouldn't say way better album. It's a better album. It's a it's a better album. Not way better. Carl, you saying way better. Way you saying way better. Get Nor Rich or Die Trying. Them two songs, Man for TV and Body and Truck Hole, some weight. Do you want to go back and check out our check out our I know that. I know check that. Check out I our know, Get I Rich know, or Die Trying. It's not a comparison, episode. though. I'll, yeah. but that I try a, not to compare it. That I was think, a whole different title way. But, but, but as I far as the hustle and, and, and the formula, yeah, but the albums, nah. But I'm not trying to I'm not trying to diminish this album. I'm just saying 50 took his formula yeah. and just took it to another level. Yeah, but album, album wise, like sort of on the same level, I would say nah. Cause Get Rich or Die Trying was a monster. Now I'm trying to think of another case where somebody was in a group but went solo. But for whatever their reason, album wasn't hot as but this. But their album made an impact like this. Not like this. Who? Uh, See, I mean, because it's hard to do that because most groups stay together. Here go a reach. Here go a reach. Mm-hmm. But th- I, I think y'all I think y'all, I think y'all would say the album was good, though. It's a I, reach, though. I think I know what you about to say. Uh, Prodigy, I was uh, thinking head that nigga head. in charge. H-N-I-C, 
Utah talk about when that um Keep It Thorough came out. That John High. That's it. <laughs> do, 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 mm. do, 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 I thought with TV do, at you crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I agree, but the nah. Album, the album, I, no, no. Nori album. It's after, a nice reach, though. Nori yeah. album hit hard, but that Prodigy joint wasn't bad. Yeah. It, 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 it wasn't bad. Album. It I thought just it, wasn't. I thought it could have been better, but yeah. that single was it hard. It wasn't Nori. That single was hard, though. It wasn't Nori. Nori was something special. Nori, Nori's actually on that album. Yeah. You like that album, don't you, Sean? I, I do. I like know that you album. do. I like I that album. You said that for Sean. I know. No, you like I, to make him feel yeah. good. You like to pat him up Sean, a little bit. I know Sean yeah, like you like to put a little yeah. 93, 89 up in him. I, <laughs> little gas. No, pause, but pause. 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 That. pause. Whoa. You like to, <laughs> Cam and Mace. You like to fill him up with 89. Gas him up. You like to gas him up. I don't want to fill nobody up. Let's relax. Um, but nah, I just thought it. I thought about that, but I still think Nori is a better album than H and I C. But that kind of I, I kind of see where yeah. that actually, that album might have actually motivated Prodigy to make that album to make that solo album because uh, yeah. they was kind of like Capone and Riga was kind of like their little brothers. But other than that, I thought mm, you were saying uh, Andre with uh, Outkast, but he ain't rap, so yeah. I can't I can't even say that he was saying, yeah. which I like I, I like ninety three uh, Carl ninety three <laughs> <laughs> ninety three man. Anybody else, man? Anybody? Any other nah. duo? Any other duo that dropped solo albums? Mm-mm. Maybe when Bum B uh, uh, started making solo. Well, albums I, I, I actually, actually, um, Bun B album it was nice. Bun B had some dope albums. Um, uh, Trill, 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 Trill was Trill nice. Joint? That that joint was nice. Was yeah. it uh, Trillville? Coming off U, UGK. Nah, he had Trill. It was he Trill. Had two Trill. Yeah, yeah. He, had, he had a couple yeah. different mine, but Trill was. Trill was, was dope. Yeah. He had a young Jeezy on there. Yeah. DJ yeah. Premier was on Young Jeezy on there twice. Yeah. Yeah, shit. That's the only thing I can think of as far as like a, a two man group. Yeah. Um, where the solo dude was, he kind of held his own. I can't think of anybody else. Yeah, I can't think of nothing either. I ain't going to try to reach no more. Uh, but NORE, man, 25 year anniversary. That's crazy. Uh, Classic. What's the legacy of this album right here, man? Man, this is a. This was my prime years, man. For real. <laughs> this was my going years. in my senior year. Man. This was my prime. I'm telling you, I was in Flago around this time. Mm. Like everything was clicking. Was. For real, was every everything was all, all good. All everything was, was clicking, clicking, man. It was all coming together. Every all everything, <laughs> man. It was already together, but mm. it was getting it was getting like it was getting to a different level, mm. like uh, together. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. niggas start seeing some real real paper around this time. Mm. All right. Yo, uh, did you ever rap? Absolutely not. Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, Absolutely not. I borrowed car up one time. MC but freaks. I, <laughs> MC, MC freaks. I borrowed car up one time. Nah, nigga rap. He rapped. He was trash. I'll man, tell you, he, he stopped rapping at one because they got booed. We got booed at the talent nah, show. Man. It was like the talent down. show around the way. I'm a good lip singer like yeah. a uh, Wallow. You thought he was he like Wallow. He, rap. he uh, came out there. Lip looked, singing award is shit. He looked the part though. He mm. looked the part, but he started rapping. That joint was trash, man. So, <laughs> Sit so down, the boy. He started break dancing after that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, NORE though, man, it's it's a classic. This was a street banger, like I said. Nori had the streets. Nori was on fire, mm-hmm. and that's also why I compared him to Fifty because it was a point where Fifty, I felt like Fifty could have missed. And yeah. Nori couldn't miss, man. It's like everything Nori, whether it was a freestyle, whether it was a single, it was just hot. Yeah. Like, looking back, some of the stuff he was saying wasn't even making sense, but it was still <laughs> hot. It was hot. Like, yeah. like, damn, that ain't even make sense. Nori, them words don't even go together. They just rhyme. But it was dope. It works. Like, yeah. he, he couldn't miss, man. Mm-hmm. N-O-R-E was hot. It definitely put a stamp in the game. Even if it didn't sell, People was paying attention oh, when Nori came out. Definitely. Whoever was hot at that time, they was paying attention when Nori came out with NORE, man. This was a problem. And he definitely held it down for Capone and Noriega. And he was kind of an extension of the Nas run. It was like another dimension of that lane. Not that he was a, yeah, whole Queens, not that he was a uh, rapper. Not, not that he was like a better rapper than Nas. But that whole Queens run, yeah. it was just mm-hmm. he was an extension of that. So man, N O R E. If you haven't heard N O R E, you need to get to it ASAP. It. You need definitely to go. You to need it. to go check that out. Get that now. ASAP. Don't even play with that. Happy 25th anniversary. The Nori man. Shout out, classic. To, shout out to Nori. Shout out to Capone and Noriega. 
Um, shout out to uh, Thugged Out, everybody on Thugged Out Entertainment. Shout out to all the producers, Swiss Beats, um, mm-hmm. Dane DJ Grease, uh, DJ Clue. Man, there was a lot of uh, Easy LP. Yeah. Everybody that was involved, uh, Nasheen Merrick. Shout out to Carl Thomas. Marley shout, out Ma. to, shout out to Marley Ma. Shout out yeah. to Nature. Shout out to uh, uh, Chico DeBarge, Cameron. Chico. Big pun. Jay, all the features, yeah. styles, all man. All the features, yeah. Everybody that was dope, man. This was dope. Kanaz, of course. Buster Rhymes, man. Yeah, dope, dope, dope. Spliff Star. Tammy Lucas. T- Tammy Lucas. Shout out to Tammy <laughs> Lucas. Maze Mussolini. Maze Mussolini, yeah. for sure, man. Animal Cup. Animal, Animal Cup. Jungle. Man. Shout out to Animal Jungle, man. On everybody, the loose. Everybody's involved. Classic, classic album. Yes, yes. N-O-R-E. 25, happy 25th anniversary. Absolutely. Salute to Nori, classic body of work. Is it, yo, is it, is it, is it safe to say that 25's being celebrated on concert cruises, classics only? (laughs) I would think so. Here, come to here. Let's do a 25 Dookie joint. (laughs) It gotta be, I ain't gonna say classic by everybody, but it gotta, it gotta, it had to make enough noise to where you, where you, if you don't think it's for a you classic, to put twenty five, if you don't think it's a classic, at least you respect the other people oh, think yeah, it's a classic. Absolutely, bro. it may not have been your cup of tea, but every other people gotta say it's a classic. Word. But yo, go check out Nori N O R E twenty five. Happy twenty fifth anniversary. We concert crew podcast. Make sure I go follow us at concert crew podcast. Make sure I go download, subscribe. We on all digital platform. Man, we appreciate all the YouTube mm, love, word. man. Uh, all the new subscribers, man. Continue to rock with us. We're going to continue to give y'all great content. Go to our YouTube uh, page. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Mm-hmm. But we see the views yes. going up. We really appreciate all y'all, man. That's dope, man. Keep rocking with us, man. We got a lot of dope, ta- uh, lot of dope material, a lot mm-hmm. of dope subject matter. So keep on rocking with the concert crew, man. Everybody that just joined us, man. Yo, we appreciate you subscribing mm-hmm. to us, man. Just continue to go along for the ride, man. We got heat, man, for sure. Word, word. Uh, as we always say, man, we're going we gonna, to um, continue to march forth. Long live our brother Tez, yes, man. Sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely. We're going to continue to march forth. We love you, Tez brother. Tez loved this album. We gonna, yes, word. he did. It's a definitely believe definitely this album was a, uh, was a classic. But yo, man, Concert Crew Podcast, we here. We, we ain't going, going nowhere. nowhere. Come on. Yo, Pito, hit us with the fader. We out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>